global warming is becoming an increasingly tangible part of our daily lives. Let's look at how some research is pointing to a very different looking world just 80 years from now. Climate change is a fact. And when our children's children look us in the eye and ask if we did all we could to leave them a safer, more stable world with new sources of energy, I want us to be able to say, yes, we did. Sea level rise, drought, temperature change, these will all have the most impactful effects on our global environment. The US Environmental Protection Agency estimated that temperatures will rise between 3 and 12 degrees over the next 75 years. Currently, the global temperature map looks something like this, with most regions on the Earth averaging between 0 and 30 degrees Celsius. A recent map published by NASA based on leading climate change research predicts that in the near future, temperatures could change drastically, leading to a world that is far less hospitable for human habitation, and temperatures ranging from between 10 to 45 degrees Celsius. Places like London will experience temperatures in the mid-20s, and Paris could see its July temperatures reach the low 30s. Places closer to the equator, like those in the Mediterranean for instance, could see average temperatures closer to 40 degrees Celsius. This would have a drastic effect on the way human life interacts with our planet. One of the predominant factors of global warming is the melting ice in the polar regions. This meltwater is predicted to cause flooding and rising sea levels in much of the world, with some regions being more affected than others. This is accompanied by massive drought in areas most affected by high temperature change. Global rainfall and availability of fresh water could become far more scarce in the future. Currently, global drought conditions look like this with areas in green going to blue, symbolizing areas that are wet, and areas that are orange increasing to purple, symbolizing little to no water and drought. A predicted drought map of the world in 2090, done by the National Science Foundation in the United States, looks drastically different, with areas of extreme drought growing throughout the world. While scarcity of water and changing temperatures make human sustainability more costly, Countries that are in the polar region will thrive, temperatures will remain mild. Water, in such a future scenario, would become a sought after commodity, maybe like oil or gold is today. Poorer countries will have difficulty coping with the climatic and drought conditions, and most will depend on the polar countries for water. The countries of the future are likely to be those countries furthest north today. Canada, Alaska, Russia, the Scandinavian nations, all will be best positioned to thrive in this new world. Uninhabitable regions, today like Greenland, could become a land of opportunity and development as ice sheets retreat and climate becomes far more livable. This is all something to think about, but one thing is certain. Global warming matters. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. And as always, we'll keep you informed on the next story that matters. Peace.